Hello everybody! In this video you will learn all 9 point of interest locations you need to discover around Ambarino. That is the north territory of the map. This is a secondary thing to do in the game, but you need to discover all 49 locations if you want to achieve 100% completion of the game. Back to the topic, the first location is northwest from Valentine City. To be precise, on the left side of the letter M of Mount Hagen text in the map. Here, once you get on the last part of the road towards the mountain, after a few small abandoned houses continuing using the road displayed in the minimap, after a while you will find also a rock carving representing a futuristic city. If you want to learn more about the side quest behind this carving, check the respective video linked in the description. While for the point of interest you need to go in the direction where is facing the carving but slightly to the right. After two cliff overhanging you will find a frozen soldier near a few rocks. Inspect it in order to unlock the frozen settler point of interest that will be followed by the drawing of the soldier representation in the Arthur diary. For an extra you can get closer to the body that will allow you to get his hat. That is a unique outfit called the Marion Helmet. The second point of interest as well located northwest from Valente City is found upside the river between the Dead Boot Creek and the Spider George Rivers. Here, after you cross the Spider George River following the road, you have to go in between the trees searching for the mammoth bones. Once you find them, go closer in order to interact with them, that will unlock the mammoth point of interest and Arthur will draw its rests in his diary. The third location is northwest from Valentine City as well, but this time is near the Barrow Lagoon, to be precise near the small house on top of it. Inside the house on the table you will find a piece of newspaper saying about dreadful incident of the ice skater. On the top left corner of the same table you will find also the 10th Sword Champion cigarette card representing the person mentioned in the newspaper, while in the rest of the house you will find some extra supplies if you need them. Now that you have all you need, you will understand that this is the house of the person mentioned before, while the point of interest is on the right side respect to the house, where you will find an opposite coffin with the ice skater inside. Now just interact with it in order to unlock the defaced grave location followed by the Arthur drawing in his diary. The fourth and the fifth point of interest are connected one to another and is the strange statue secret that will allow you to get three gold bars at the end for a value of $500 each. About these two locations you will find another video dedicated to the secret linked in the description. While the sixth point of interest is northeast from Valentine City and in the same direction respect to the back station, where following the main road you will find the secondary one leading toward a mountain, at the foot of which you will find a house made of terrain similar to the Hobbit's one from the Lord of the Rings saga. Once you get enough close you will be able to inspect it in order to unlock the mysterious house point of interest. Following by the Arthur drawing in his diary the representation which the question who lives in it. Except for this special easter egg, this house is also connected to the landmarks of Rich's treasure that at the end will give you 6 gold bars for a total revenue of $3000. So if you want to discover this treasure and meanwhile you discover the point of interest, check the respective video link in the description. Next, we have the seventh point of interest that is close to the previous location, so is as well northwest from Valentine City. But this time is upside the train track going from the back of station towards the river. Following the secondary road that will lead you below the train track bridge, you will find some waterfalls. At which food you need to get using a mountain side you can cross without taking damage at the end of the secondary road. Now, just get to the beginning of the river after the waterfall where you will see a broken large bucket with a corpus in it. Inspect this bucket in order to uncover the barrel rider point of interest. That will be drawn in the Arthur's diary with the text saying that he found this poor woman that wanted to try to ride the waterfall using this barrel. 
and that he is sad that someone has a more ridiculous lifetime that he is leading to. Now it's time for the eighth point of interest that is northeast from Valentine, how the previous three, but this time below the letter G and the air of Grizzly's est text in the map. This one is slightly tricky to find because you have to come in this location between the noon and the evening time. So I highly recommend to get close to this location, then set up a camp and sleep here until the noon time. Once done, tear down the camp and get to the location. That is on top of the mountains. Following the road, you will find on one side a big grass field on top of the mountain, and then the road will lead down from the mountain. You need to explore this grass field and check the mountain overhanging, where you will find a monk that meditates on the margins of this location. The monk is the point of interest, so you will be able to inspect it only when he will be here. Now get close to him and inspect it in order to allow Arthur to draw his image in his diary. There is nothing else you can do here, despite a lot of speculation around the internet, but you still can roleplay with him, but in some cases you will lose honor for doing so. Time is come for the ninth and the last point of interest you can discover in Ambarino, that is northeast from Valentine. To be precise, between the roads on the margin of Grizzly's West and the Moonstone Pond territories. From the Moonstone Pond, looking towards the mountain, you will see a face sculpture that is the location you have to reach. To do so, use the road going upside the closest cliff, from where you will be able to get on top of the mountain. Between the first two peaks you will find a small pathway you can use in order to get to the location you need. Now use the stairs and get on top of the scaffolding, then close to the face that will allow you to inspect it, discovering the last point of interest called the facing cliff. Arthur will draw only his image in the diary, so if you want to learn more about the story behind this place you need to inspect this location. Inside the chest, in fact, you will find some food supply and a jewelry that might be a gift. You can sell it later on to any fence vendor about which you can find another guide linked in the description. While in order to find the mind clue about what happened here, shoot at the rope at which is hunched the body in order to release it. That also will allow you to loot the body that contains the knot from the sculpture saying that this face represents the face of the person he loves. But while he spent time on making the gift for her, she found another man, so he decided to finish his life for desperation, thinking about all time he spent to do this work. Now that you get all the point of interest of Ambarino, it's time to move to Heartlands, about which you can find another tutorial linked in the description.